Oh, hello everyone, and uh, welcome to uh, Super Mario Odyssey. I didn't know if the game would immediately jump into it or if I'd have a title screen or not, so I just figured I'd just go ahead and start it. I should have the remote by me in case it's a bit loud. Uh, we'll play on regular and not assist because I'm not a little baby bitch boy. I'm a man. I can play a game with an assist. But you get a desk, just pop into it. But I should lower that down a bit. After all, this should be plenty enough volume for everyone at home to hear. Sorry, but Mario is fucking dead after that. I hate to tell you this, Peach, but you're gonna have to find a new fuckboy. I mean, hey, Luigi's always available, and I'm sure he wouldn't mind. find it weird that Sonic Forces, the big Sonic game that come to all platforms, mainly Switch, and then Mario Odyssey, the big Mario platformer for the Switch, both of which start out with the main character fucking dying. Did it Mario Odyssey also come out in 2017, or is that like eight, or was it 2018? I forget, but either way, uh... Yeah, it looks like Mario's been, uh, doing some copycatting and, uh... Oh yeah, it's B to jump. It's been a while since I played Mario Odyssey, okay? Especially this opening bit. But I actually remember playing a demo of Mario Odyssey. Uh, back in a fucking Target. Like, that was before I got my Switch. Like, in 2018 or so, so... Yeah, it was 2018 when I got my Switch, because, uh... Because, uh... Mania Plus had just came out, and, um... Um... Was Team... Yeah, Team Sonic Racing was teased at E3 that year. I remember it was Christmas at a Walmart when I got the game, and Sonic... Or when I got Sonic Mania Plus, and, uh... Fucking... You know, the Switch. I know I should probably be reading all of this, but, um, I, I, don't, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I'm kind of lazy. <laughs> Plus, I'm, I'm going to be doing so much talking, and I have so much to say right now. This game has been out since at least 2018, 2017. Y you can figure out the fucking story. You're, see, besides, you can pause the video if you can't read it. So, guys, it's a fairly basic story. I should be skipping these cutscenes. But I don't like skipping cutscenes. Just, you know. as well as I remember. Alright, uh, goals for the series? To beat the game. That is literally it. We're, you know, we might do some light ex-spelunking around and, uh, get extra moons, but no, we're pretty much just gonna stick to the main path here. Any detours and other things are gonna be entirely just... The spare of the moment, excuse me. 
But uh, yes, this is very potentially the second best Mario game, right behind Mario and Rabbit. Cool extra heart, and we'll just go in there. Whew. Okay, is there anything behind me? Yes, there is, but I'm gonna need the frog for that. Oops. There we go. Oh, shit. Come here, frogs. There you go. I remember the last time I played Final Odyssey is, you know, I started the game over and the audio was completely fucked over. And just in general, this first cutscene was just completely fucked and crusty. And again, you know, my Switch and my copy of this game are pretty old at this point. Considering it was... When did I get my R's? Like, it was sometime in 2020... No, not 2020. It was either 2018 or 2019. Shit, need to jump up. God damn it. Get, get on there, you dumbass frog. Alright, that's, that's how we do it. Shit, I can't get those. Anyways, uh, do, 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 what do I have to say? Uh, I find it really just, my honesty is a good game, and, um, I don't know, usually I have a lot more to say while playing the game, but, uh, I don't know. Again, like I said, Mario Odyssey is like second, first, second best Mario game I've ever played. Of course, it, well, it might even be considered third if you catch me on the right mood. Any little secrets over here? I know there's something up here. Although I do uh, like how uh, Miyamoto specifically chose frogs to be the first ever capture in this game just to show how the capture mechanic would work and affects regular gameplay. Because now you, you know, can jump into the whole shtick of Mario now, you know. Jumping is different. There we go. Missing anything? Any secrets? Any specials? Nope. We'll just walk right on in and continue with the game. Oh, that is a really nice detail. How Mario and I get covered in smoke and stuff based on the area you just walk through. Like if we're staying in the smoke a bit, our boy is now charred and smoking. Or at least more than he already is. I mean, look at that fat Italian ass go. Run, boy, run up that hill. Ah, damn. Trying to think of something funny, witty, or interesting to say, but honestly, the Kooplings would be better than these jack-offs. Right, speaking of jack-offs, fuck you, Larry Larryson. Yeah, I bet you'll think twice before fucking with me, Larry McLarison. Yeah, take that, huh? How's it feel to be hit by a fat, sweaty Italian dude's hat? Ah, oh, yeah, I get stomped on, motherfucker. That sweat Italian ass. I mean, 
look at this shit. Didn't even get hit once. Just move. Why is the moon made of cheese? But that moon be tasting real good though. And I was like, gotta love how the moon is constantly foreshadowed. Or like the entirety of Mario Odyssey, if you think about it. Ugh, my nose is itchy. Hmm. This is all fairly standard, just to get through all the fucking dialogue, and then we can finally play. Let's a fucking go, dumbasses. We've wasted enough time. Oh, shit. Oh, well, that just gives me more time to get down here and find this yummy, delicious purple shit. Anyway, I reckon by the next episode we'll be collecting them Doritos. Fucking you, you Sonic the Hedgehog, you the motherfuckers. Ah, uh, who the fuck? A Sonic YouTuber insulting Sonic while playing a Mario game. Come on, such original content I bring to the table, don't I? I mean, to be honest, it was either play this or play Mario 64. Inside of this, because I figured it might be shorter, like each. I mean, honestly, I'll be done with this in like an episode. I figure like each kingdom might take up a video, up to two videos at max. So this won't take me long. Um... Now, as far as like. Completion of stakes goes. I'm just going for like. I'm going with the camera during cutscene. Whoa! Anyways. Yeah, I don't want to. I want to find more moons. Shit. Can't get up there. I can go up here. And yes, I'm hoping every episode will feature Mario in a different little costume. As that honestly would just make my day. Oh, there's something to fuck shit up as Yoshi. Come on, Yoshi, ride, boy, ride. What should I actually need? I need a butt. Oh, yeah, I could break your face a bit. And yeah, in case it's not entirely obvious, I'm not really. Let's cut off because it, it's trying to funnel me into a certain direction. There we go. Well, oh, I mean, it's still letting me explore and go through areas at my own pace, but as far as the main progression goes, it's trying to funnel me a bit. Which I'm not complaining, I mean, I think open world games should phone you to a certain extent. I mean, seriously, like, what kind of fucking game design just tells you, okay, here's the world, now go and fuck off. And it's only like, if you want to progress, we'll allow you to progress. But we will give you no hints whatsoever aside from a single fucking cutscene, and you better be paying attention, and you better be playing this all within... In an hour or so, or else you're 
fuck. Like, you, we will not give you a, a two days to remember this. And I'm just one of those that believe open world games should... You can be open world. But not so open to the point to where it's literally up to me. Again, I like making an adventure. But I don't want the one to make the adventure. I want the adventure to be set out for me. And then from there I... Uh, make my own adventure exploring your beautiful world. Okay, I probably, sh I probably needed the Goomba to get there. Fucking Jeffrey! Come on, Stuart! Yeah, fuck you, Stuart. You dumb piece of shit. Alright, now time to... First, we're technically the second boss fight. I don't know why boss fights would be so much so close together, but then again, I literally just got done playing Sonic Forces, which had only a level in between them. Well, then again, this is worse, because this is literally the very next level. It's only been 16 minutes, and I'm already about to fight this bitch and dumbass doll. There you go, fuck you, bitch. Remember, children, Mario wants you to commit murder. Sonic rather have you talk to your enemies about their problems than just fucking murder them. Remember, parents, Sonic is better than Mario in every way, shape, and form. And don't see no one of you forget it. Although I am really excited for the new Rabbits game. I'm a, that's actually the game that leads me to believe Mario Odyssey is only second best, potentially third best with Mario 64. Well, then again, there were the Galaxy games and, uh, you know, then there's Mario Karts, Mario Parties, but that's neither here nor there. Anyways, I think I have enough moons to get the fuck out of moons. <laughs> yeah, I got enough moons to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Now that I think about this, I kind of want to upload uh, Mario Odyssey along with so uh, the rest. At this point, I have not even finished up. I finished Sonic Adventure. I just haven't uh, finished uploading it. I'm currently in the middle of work of uploading Knuckles Story, which only takes me. It's it's only gonna take me three videos. The first one went up the day of recording this. And as far as just in general, the rest of Sonic Adventure, it's uh, it, yeah, it's about to be finished. And then you know, I'm probably gonna upload a bit of Minecraft, and then uh, I'm gonna go right into Forces. Although that does lead me to to. Uh, to an idea I've had recently, and I don't know if any other YouTubers have ever thought of this or not, but... Have all of your videos uploaded to the platform and privatized, set to become public on a certain date. So that way, you're able to record like a shit ton of videos, have them done, edited, all that, or whatever you need to do. And then upload it, and then as, when the certain day comes, they're just done. Well, then again, I'm someone who doesn't edit my videos and just kind of does what the fuck ever and uploads footage raw. Unedited. Maybe I'll edit a thumbnail. Eh, I don't know.
There we go. Perfect thumbnail material. Yeah, I am thinking about starting to do thumbnails. Sue me. Actually, don't. I'm not gonna make that joke. But in all seriousness, ladies and gentlemen, I have been thinking about doing thumbnails as of uh, recent, you know, to, you know, maybe get the videos more clicks, like, random frames and gameplay, and then, like, add, like, oh, you know, like, the pog emoji or some shit. Oh, dude, like, pointing at something and going, oh my god, look at this. You, you know the face, you know the face. Yeah, that's a point, what? No, I don't have the fucking action guide. Fuck you. Hey. Okay, there we go. Anyways, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I think that's gonna do this for this episode. Um, yeah, next time we're gonna conquer the Sand Kingdom and take over. The reign of the Mushroom Kingdom will spread worldwide, and we'll start by stealing all of their precious moons. Yes.